Cub Cadet mower deck install quick and easy. Hello and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to install a mower deck on this Cub Cadet LT50 XT1 Endorlo series. If you removed your deck to sharpen your blades, change your belts, just clean it up, whatever the case may be, in this case it was to put a new PTO clutch on, and you're having a little difficulty installing it, well, this is the video for you. If you haven't removed your deck yet, I have a video of the deck removal up above if you care to watch that. So, let's get started. First of all, this deck, if you already pulled it off, you know it only has three pins that hold it on. Very easy to get this together. If you have a paved driveway or a garage where you can slide the deck, it makes it a lot easier. This is a stone driveway, so I have this piece of wood under here to help slide this deck under the mower. Let me get this camera into position and we'll get started here. First thing you want to make sure you have your level up so these brackets don't interfere with sliding the deck underneath. Once you have that set up, put this camera down. I'm on a little bit of a hill here, so the deck wants to slide forward. Uh, well, not a big problem. Let's make it a little bit challenging. I'm just going to the other side to pull it under. Now, I don't have the manual for this, and this is the first time I'm installing this particular deck, but I'm going from the way it came off. So I'm going to line it up. I think I might have to get a piece of wood to keep it from rolling. Okay, let's see what we have. Now this deck is cocked. On the other side I have a, a board under the wheel to keep it from rolling. Let's see if this is going to work. This bracket gets connected to the deck over here by this pin. So to get this down, all we have to do is to use the height adjuster on the on the mower and to bring it down. Okay, you want to bring it all the way down. Right, we can see the mower's way, way too far forward. I have to roll it all the way back to this hole over here to get that pin into this hole. Close. Okay. I have it down just a little. Okay, raise that lever up above two notches to get this up a little higher. Wiggle this in. It looks like I lost video. Let me get back under here. So all, all that's holding it on is this uh, pin over here. This uh, bow tie pin, whatever you want to call it, that's what's holding it on. 
this deck has a lot of room to maneuver so there shouldn't be any problem getting it into position a big tip do it on a flat level surface it'll help tremendously there's a identical pin on the other side all right just one more connection before we put on the belt now you gotta be careful working outside look at this a tick i already got bit by a spider twice working under the hood <laughs> anyway back to the video okay trying to get this camera in position Here's the last piece holding it on. I don't have to adjust any of this. The way we took it off, that's the way we put it on. Right. Fish it through that hole. What's important about this, when you put it in, you have to put it in the same way you took it out. This, see this hook, this 90 degree, goes from the back side to the front. So this is the hole that I removed it from originally. So we'll put it back in there. Put in the pin. All right, that was easy enough. Now we put the belt on. This belt seems pretty loose. To get it onto this pulley, just pull on it a little bit and it goes right on. That seems a little too loose for me. See was chewed up from when that original clutch burnt out on it i'm going to go to the other side and take a look at this i just want to make sure this belt's on right this isn't required but i'm just removing this pulley cover just to make sure this belt's on correctly it just seemed a little too loose there's three bolts that hold this down they require a 10 millimeter socket comes right off also back here there's a there's a lever back here that releases the tension on the spring if your belt's a little tight this looks like it's right it's kind of weird configuration here where they have a crisscross see it's like a double pulley here it looks right well that's it this deck install should take about 10 15 minutes there's just three connections and the belt and you're done if you have any questions or comments post them down below if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It does help. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Hit that Joe Z button. And not to miss my new videos as I upload them, be sure to ring that bell. Until next time, stay safe.